Hey and welcome back to another reaction video. Today we will check out a video by Dimitri and I actually love his videos. They're always so fun to watch. That's a very interesting one that you guys sent over to me that I have to watch as it is about Evernote. And as I already published a video on this channel a long time ago, the elephant is dead. Let's see if the elephant had a rebirth there, like the phoenix out of the ashes. Let's dive into this. Paperless movement, your productivity, your way. As usual, I didn't watch the video at all. So let's just see what Dimitri has to share with us. Is Evernote making a comeback? No, seriously, guys, I, I am mind boggled recently as Evernote's been making crazy updates and not in a bad way, because I used to really bash on Evernote because. Not in a bad way, I fully agree. I was surprised following the new Evernote developer behind the Bending Spoons, the company that took over Evernote. They've been bashing out features that I said already to Ian Small back in the times they should add in order to keep up with the competition. So now they really catching up with the features, but let's see what in particular Dimitri has to share here. Because it did, it did uh, go downhill for years. But if you recall, they recently got bought out by a company called Bending Spoons. Really weird name, very good results. They made a large number of updates recently and their Twitter has been a great place to look. So if you are ever just wondering what products have updates going on, I would go on Twitter for a lot of them. Yeah, fully agree. As I just mentioned on X, you can follow these and they keep publishing their work in progress. And I really like this transparency to involve the community in order to update these features. That's really nice. And I fully agree here as well. And Bending Spoons, they are known for some other softwares that they published before. Also AI involved there. That's where after they took over Evernote, the AI integration accelerated as well. But now with all the features, that's really interesting. A lot of this stuff, it really does showcase what's going on. They are also doing a monthly recap every month, which is a thing that a lot of different companies do. And I also do for companies. So if you're a software company looking for services for your business, make sure to check us out in the link down below, riseproductive.com slash content hyphen services. Some updates that are added to the system recently have been things like native events, as well as in the events to-do list, with specific due dates. So for example, if I set this to today and went to my home and looked at my calendar, it has tasks and events syncing from my Google Calendar here. And Evernote even has its own native events now, which is pretty cool. You'll notice here that I can press new event and I can say record this video, not even record this video, like drive to the city for example, and you'll notice that the option for calendars Evernote calendar here, and that's because this is actually just within my calendar, right? This is crazy to me. No. Sh yeah, I saw that update coming out, uh, the calendar integration and that you can put now the task also on the calendar, something that we are not fans of at the paperless movement, as we don't believe in a typical time blocking approach that many do like scheduling out all the different tasks on your calendar, because as a busy professional, life changes so quickly during a day. Unexpected events come in, tasks take longer than expected and all this. So the whole plan will already crumble even before noon. So that's why we only have our meetings on the calendar and everything else is inside the planner. We are using Sansama for that. So we have just a sequential order of our tasks that we are working on. And there we go deeper into deep work and sh versus shallow work. We have our routines there. Well, if you want to learn more about this, we talk a lot about this on this channel, but also in our ICO methodology in the Paperless Movement membership. But uh, what Dimitri was just demonstrating here, it is now flexible enough that it can adapt other methods if you are really into this time blocking thing. Then this is really useful. Ocean doesn't have this, and I know that you know, God forbid I make a comparison to Notion in every video, but Evernote has been around for years. They have been around for such a long time that they don't actually have a spot in people's head for a while where, you know, like where are they going to go? Up? Because if you took a look at this, and this is one of my favorite things to do, and you just look up Evernote in search terms on Google Trends, and you look at it from 2004 to present, it was on the downswing, and it continues to be uh, only having some relative 
relatively small bumps probably when the purchase happened in recently. But I'm telling you, this app is not on the downswing. It having a native feature for calendar events, tasks, and this all to be done within a note, for example, and syncing to a calendar. I'm gonna go to this calendar page. You'll notice here that I have my Google calendar built in, which is awesome. And I can connect multiple calendars here. And I only have my like meeting events here, but I could add more of them like life events. Like for example, I'm going to go watch a comedy show tonight and it'll pop up right here. And I can click on this, delete the events. Uh, I don't like that. I can't drag this around, right? I try to click and drag. I do have to press right click on something or left. Oh, actually the drag and drop feature. That's something I would have expected as well. Doing this, but man, this is room for improvement, obviously click on something for the tasks. It's it's a little bit wonky in comparison to like a normal daily planner, but the ability to be able to add a note to something like this, like maybe where do I wanna go for dinner in Rockford? So like action items figure out where to go for dinner in Rockford. And then if I went back to my home, you'll notice that I can't spell Rockford to save my life, but if I press save here, then I have a homepage where I see a task that was written in a note pop up here. I have this relevant to my calendar in this section. I can change the view here from a day to like a schedule view. So I can just see it like stacked like this, including the tasks. I can go to different days. I can just write on a scratch pad. This is kind of a better note taking experience for quick notes than even something like Notion, to be honest. I haven't had any lag with this. I think a big issue that I had with Evernote in the past was that it was extremely, it was extremely laggy. Like I won't lie to you, like, it, was, it was pretty pathetic. Like just. <laughs> Yeah, the loading times were extreme. They had become also very buggy. I got errors logging in and well, a lot of glitches. But obviously with all the things that they are adding now to Evernote, uh, you would expect this. I really hope for them to turn the ship around. And well, we always thought that for busy professionals in particular, Evernote is a great solution because it's so easy to access and it has the UI UX that so many people are used to when it comes to notebooks. There's no complex database systems or things like that, that you got from Notion or Tana or other tools. I like the approach that Evernote does now as they're catching up also the tagging system. The backlinking is now something that I would be interested in, obviously. You see, if you create a meeting note, that it has the meeting in there. So I never lose context. And that's really great, actually. Not even being able to download the desktop app like two years ago. There was a video of me literally showing how I couldn't download the desktop app. But now it's yeah. easy. It's quick. There's action items. There's notes. There's not the same kind of markdown functionality as you expect in some products where there's like a forward slash, but at least there is. Yeah, that's something that I mentioned as well already in the past, that there is no typical forward slash and then you have all the different functionalities. But uh, it's just a matter of time. I think they will add this. Things like brackets can turn it into a checkbox and uh, you can obviously do things like make headers and smaller headers. All of the basic markdown stuff's there. There's no like drop down. But if you're looking for something that's like an elevated version of a note taking app like OneNote or even Microsoft Word, you can write really well inside of Evernote. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's pretty solid. And they did recently introduce a AI edit beta, which uh, I'm not gonna try out for these purposes, but similar to everything else, there's gen AI capabilities in here. So if you wanna see anything more regarding Evernote or learn more about it, I mean, it's got, it's got a lot going for it now. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm kind of excited for where Bending Spoons continues to take this product, but I wanted to show you how snappy it is, how moving in the right direction it is for the first time and what feels like five years, maybe even a decade. So make sure to check out Evernote today and check out this video on how to improve your skills using tools like this one even more. Well, great, great video, Dimitri. Thanks for sharing this. And we are absolutely like-minded when it comes to Evernote. There is really still the potential. The elephant is not that. And as I said during the reaction video here, Evernote has a great potential for busy professionals because it's so easy to access and with their focus on the personal knowledge management rather than the collaboration features that they had in the past. This could become really useful if you combine it, for example, with other simple tools, easy to learn tools like Reflect, for example, you could make up a very great system that is easy to access because Evernote is very accessible on mobile as well and with all the features just there. This is their big advantage that I think. If you want me to check out Evernote in, in more detail, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other video that I should react to, let me also know in the comments below. 
like and share the video if you liked it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and Dimitri's channel so we can catch you up next time.